Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you guys how to create a malware on my Kalnuke system and infect a Windows system with it externally. So for, for this, I will show you guys on my Kalnuke system next. And also to know, I will uh, show how you can uh, track back the malware and its network traffic and also remove it and clean so it cannot be infected on your system anymore. So this is my Kali Linux system. We will modify the malware uh, that it can interact externally. And also we will set up a listener which can receive the connections between the Windows system and the Kali Linux system. So to do that, we need to open a new window. Log in with your password. And then uh, I will now create the malware, first of all. So what we did here is uh, we use a tool called MS Phenom and we specify the payload as Windows uh, architecture x64 shell reverse TCP and this is the local address uh, and the local port which you need to specify and F is the format for Windows systems of course which is XA and output malware.xa so for this to work externally we need to use a different ex uh, external third-party tool which can uh, specify the connections that we can then receive the reverse shell from the Windows machine. Now, as you can see, as, as you can see, we set up the ngronk before in the video, and this is the tool which you can externally, uh, let's say, pull forward or forward your local address. So. This is how I set it up. You execute it and then you make the protocol TCP and this is the port 
you can specify any port number that you want but I will do 999 and as you can see the local host is this one which is uh, universal to every connection but is actually specific to your system I, like IV config if you Right, IV config, you see that your IP is this one. This is your local IP address inside your Kali system, right? And this is the local port that you modified that you uh, wanted to open. But this, this one, right? It gets forwarded to this address with this port. So for this to mo be modified in the MSF Phenom, you need to copy this one. Go to lhost and then also copy this one port on this L port. And now you just hit enter and the malware will be created. <laughs> okay, as you can see, this is the final size of it and the uh, the payload size and it's saved as malware.exe as you can see with ls we can list it's on uh, here and we can also go on the files and we can see the malware by itself on the interface so we have created it successfully but now we need to create the listener which can interact and control the malware which gets executed on the system behalf of Kali Linux and uh, and we can basically control the, the machine from Kali Linux so for that we use toolcom as msf console use exploit multi handler and we set the payload same as from MS Phenom, which is this one. And we also set the L host, but we don't set it up as this one because we listen locally for the connection to come externally. As you can see, the local host is forwarded externally, so we need to set up the local host. As a L host here, local host, and we set the local port as 999. Now, you just need to run exploit, and then uh, you send the malware over. It's up to you how you send it, but for educational purposes only, I will send. This to my Windows machine by uh, the virtual machine, as you can see here. And here's the malware. You can come any forms of email, SMS, or messaging apps, or software, or games, or anything. It's it's up to the malicious hacker how they modify it or how they create it. But now, if you see, if I click on it, it is sending a stage. It's sending it a connection, a reverse connection from the Windows machine to my Kali Linux system. And now we have a command shell, as you can see. Now we are list directories. Here are the directories. If I write system information, system info, you can see the system information. Microsoft Windows 11. Look guys, I will show you how to remove the malware and also drag it back. And uh, how to see where it executes. So first of all, if you want to drag it back, let's say you get executed, right? Then you will need to go to Task Manager. And for example, the malwares they can execute under different names you can never really know 
or what you can do is, is look at the startup apps. These are the apps that always start up in the beginning. So if one of the apps start up in the beginning of your system boot, when you start your system, the hacker can all, always have access to your system the whole time. If, he, uh, if your system has Wi-Fi connections, of course, right? But let's say if this is the malware, for example, and if you will enable it, uh, let's do with this one because, uh, okay, open file location, right? Then you can see it executes in this folder always, right? But if you know the malware name or all know where the malware is, you type malware, for example, you can just see here the uh, malware, or you can then go to details. Then you see the PID, right? If you want to track its IP address and track its network traffic, you need, will need to open the command prompt and write inside that stat no find string. And then you can see the public IP address which it connects to and gives the hacker uh, the receiving traffic of your system uh, access, right? So, first of all, if you don't want to find out the traffic and just want to remove it and totally get it away, then you will need to actually uh, turn off your Wi-Fi totally. Go to startup apps, find the app that you want to, uh, let's say, disable on the startup, click disable. And then you click open file location and then you will need to uh, delete all of it for example like that delete right and then you just delete it here that's how you can remove the malware but this is just a basic way of removing malware and there are more advanced ways and most malware these, day, these days are very smart and they will inject inside different folders or like inject even into some of the programs of your systems and do many malicious stuff that are very smart. But this is my basic way for removing malware or tracking it and seeing what the interaction uh, of the system and the malware is and also how to fully remove it.